Stuck searching for employment for months, a local man thought he'd found the perfect job. Instead, he potentially lost his identity and nearly thousands of dollars, too. He's hoping others will hear his warning, and Adam Snyder has his story. Yeah, now I'm back to look. It's been a tough year for Nathan Slusher. Especially with a person with uh, depression and anxiety, um, I spent most of the year looking last year looking for a job. A chemist by trade in qualitative analysis, let go at the start of the pandemic, has sought a job in his field by any means necessary, making ends meet in the meantime. I started door dashing last year to help. I've used ZipRecruiter, I've used Indeed. Uh, if there's a job board out there, I've uh, I've used it. So imagine Nathan's excitement when medical device company Medtronic contacted him for employment in customer service. Especially what the, the pay they were offering was like $28 an hour. And for someone who hasn't had a job in so long, that was like manna from heaven. Seemed fairly straightforward at first. Realistic looking offer sheet, job application, etc. But everything was through messaging, including the interview. And his would-be employers began requesting more and more. I gave them my driver's license and my social security card <laughs> and all my personal information, even my banking information. They wanted me to buy office equipment. They wanted my Verizon account number and password. They tried to get me to buy three iPhone 12 Maxes. Becoming wary of his dream job, Nathan contacted the actual Medtronic and much to his dismay. It wasn't real. Uh, it wasn't a real job. Um, let me know that I just sent all my information out to a complete stranger. It was decimating. I, I, because I really thought after a year and a half, I had a job that I'd be able to provide again. And now I'm back to square one. And Nathan is not the first. Medtronic recently posting a warning for folks on their website warning of this very scam. They're preying on people to get money or information or both. Don Morris with the Oklahoma Office of Workforce Development knows how hard this last year has been. I've heard one stat that said uh, we processed about 10 years worth of unemployment claims in a year on the side of our citizens. It's, it's a lot of pain and anguish and, and difficulty. He's urging Oklahomans to watch where they share their info, recommending sticking with professional job sites like Indeed, LinkedIn, CareerBuilder, or Glassdoor, or even using the state's site, OK Job Match. There's a free OK Job Match app that, that can be downloaded. It's a very simple app that gets straight to the point. This is the job I'm looking for, and this is my zip code, go. For Nathan Slusher, there's new fear for his personal info and he hopes others will see through such fraud. Like as a scientist, I, I always tell people to double check. It's always best to know that you have the right answer the first time. Now the Oklahoma Office of Workforce Development tells me there are situations where employers will contact you first, but typically those are for highly skilled, highly sought after positions like registered nurses, engineers, and the like. When you are applying for a job, make sure it's with an actual company and double check to make sure you're speaking with that company and not a poser. I'm Adam Snyder, in your corner.